I'm a big kid at heart, so to me summers will always mean ice cream. Now normally Brittany would get to do these kind of segments, but I threw a big enough temper tantrum that the Chicago's Best Producers sent me to Walnut, to Homer's, for ice cream! Yay! We had suggestions all over social for you guys, but one in particular caught our eye, which was an email we had from Annie, who said you guys have been here for over 80 years and you still hand make all your own ice cream. My dad started here in 1935, Greek immigrant. He learned how to make ice cream in Chicago. He says, don't skimp on quality. This is the best ice cream in the whole area. The best ice cream here in Wilmette. It's been here for years and it's an institution. It's the best. The best thing I've ever had in my life. Where does the name come from? Homer was the donkey my dad had on this farm in Greece. He didn't milk that donkey for the no, ice cream. Did he? He, but, he had, that. but he had to sell it to get enough money to come over. How many different flavors do you guys make? Over 150 flavors. What would be a good homage to the donkey to make today? It's summer. The cult favorite for Homer's is the fresh peach. Fresh, you mean from the can, right? Wrong. No. Sit down. I read a quote online in, in from, little, the president of the, cubes, right? from the president of the United <laughs> States, and it says, peaches come from a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. I believe everything I read on the internet. Yeah, me too. You apparently are the Homer's ice cream making man. That's correct. How long have you been doing this? 34 years. You Sorry. really like ice cream? I really like ice cream, yeah. I was told you guys get these in fresh. You aren't making me do anything. We didn't trust you. We <laughs> wanted to make sure that uh, no more mistakes were made. Uh, you've seen the show before? Yeah, many times. Okay, screw you guys. Hey! <laughs> we start the process by pouring in the puree and pulp. Next we get the uh, mix that's the dairy fat. Okay. You want me to pour this in? Or? No, I want to pour it okay. in. Before the ice cream starts the freezing process, we add in almond extract, food coloring, and start to mix. So we moved it to a smaller container. You gotta fit all that in the small hole. Hey now! I'm not going there. Look at, look at my producer. Why would you go there? This doesn't look like it's even gonna work. I'm gonna leave this with you, wait for this to set, talk to some customers, then they're gonna make me a sundae. Can you show me your face when you've had ice cream? Can you show me your face when your mom and dad say you can't have any ice cream? The best thing about this place is the ice cream. My favorite thing is in the summertime, the peach ice cream. You know, it's a real good fruit flavor. What's your favorite ice cream? Okay, I can't eat ice cream. That blows for you on so many different levels, but it's good for me. I'm gonna go make myself some ice cream. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's head back to meet Dean's son, Nick, to build our sundaes. This is the finished peach product. This is the finished peach, yep. Got pretty good form. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. What's a sundae without all the toppings? Now I'm just concerned, because your brother's gonna eat this. He'll like it. Okay. And of course, no sundae is complete without the cherry on top. Look at that. Before it all melts, Andrew and I dive in. Before we dive into these yeah. fiascos, you should- Fiascos! You should try it by itself. It's so creamy. The freshness of the peaches is something that, the that burst through. Guys, that's amazing ice cream right there. What makes you guys say Chicago's best? To be able to carry on a tradition that's been around for 82 years, I think is pretty special. That's everything a grown-up kid wants in life. This is a new summer favorite. 